The objective of this training is to get the uh, Battle Group 22 uh, ready for deployment. Everything from weapons qualification uh, to command staff operations to mortar firing and expertise to uh, tank operations. We have several medics here teaching them uh, CLS, care into fire, um, and some more advanced medical uh, training. We've talked to the Uganda People's Defense Force medics uh, and trained them last week in tactical combat casualty care. So that we've um, trained the trainers, if you will. And then this week is a combat life-saving course where we will go over basic combat life-saving skills with their line members, so infantry, platoon members, et cetera, teaching them basic medical skills to assist their medics in the event of mass casualties or in the event of significant trauma on the battlefield. This training is important because 90% of combat deaths occur before um, soldiers get to a hospital. And it's often the first line responder that saves that soldier's life. So depending on the studies you read, up to 25% of deaths on the battlefield are preventable and attributable to three main causes, uh, hemorrhage, tension pneumothorax, and airway obstruction. So we're teaching them skills to put place tourniquets, uh, put uh, chest seals on and, 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 and needle decompress the chest and, and put alternate airways in to hopefully save those lives that we can so we can get them to a field hospital and get them to the surgery they need. With this group we're going to be doing a lot of patrolling and security movements and uh, counter IED awareness. So just as they're walking through and doing their patrols and convoys they're able to spot signs of IEDs. Now, this EOD portion will help keep them alive. It's a big threat and so they'll be able to spot signs and hopefully keep them and their fellow soldiers alive. Specifically, I'm here to uh, supervise civil military operations cells within the uh, battalion and battle group staffs. Currently, I have a CMOC that's running, um, that's collecting information from uh, civil affairs teams on the ground so that they uh, have integrated information flow and real life uh, training. So now things are better than before. That's why I can say now we appreciate what the U.S. government is doing by teaching us, by teaching our soldiers, skills which we've not known before. I'd say overall it's been a good uh, training iteration. The training that UPDF is receiving is 100 to 1,000 times better than what they started out with. UPDF and AMSOM have been partners with us in the fight against al-Shabaab in uh, Eastern Africa. If, if we're confident in their training here, then we're going to be confident in their abilities to help us out on the ground in Somalia.